Hey gamers, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something truly exciting for you, a first look at the highly anticipated game, Between Horizons. So Between Horizons is a narrative 2.5D sci-fi detective adventure set aboard the Zephyr, which is a humanity's first generation ship. 30 years into its journey, the mission is suddenly jeopardized, and it's up to us to uncover the truth and save the mission. So, uh, Let's take a look, shall we? Hope everybody's doing okay, and if you do enjoy this video, please give it a like and a subscription to the channel would be awesome. Your progress is frequently auto-saved, indicated by a small icon in the top right corner of the screen. All progress since the previous save point will be lost when you quit. You can either manually save, nor load a previous save point. There is no going back. And I would just like to say thank you to the developer of the game for this free key to play it. Very much appreciated and that's DigiTales Interactive published by Assemble Entertainment. Hold E to close. Ah, there we go. You can find many options in the game settings to customize your experience. For example, you can turn off the time limit for dialogue choices and disable tutorials if desired. I must have been eight or nine years old when I first realized that I would never witness the Zephyr's arrival. As a small child, I often imagined myself stepping foot on Eurus D, leaving the ship for the first time in my life. I didn't understand at the time that this was a privilege reserved for my grandchildren. I still remember the conversation I had with my father. He was uncomfortable about the whole thing, and I get it. People don't like talking about their children's mortality. Still, he made me feel better. He reminded me of the importance of our mission for the survival of mankind. We're the only egg in the second basket, he said, or something like that. The basket being Eurus D, a habitable planet just four light years away from Earth. And the egg, that's the roughly 1,300 people aboard the Zephyr. Everyone I'll ever know. Okay. Press E to advance the dialogue. Hold R to skip. When prompted to pick up one of the multiple answers, or pick one of the multiple answers, use A, D, and confirm your selection using E. Complete tutorial. No. Stella? Stella! Did you go to bed already? Of course not. But in that case, do you have a few minutes? Is something I'd like to show you. What is it? You'll see, it's a surprise. Okay, I'll be right out. Great, I'll be in my bank upstairs. Case updated, general. These graphics look pretty cool. Fair play. As you make progress, journal entries are added to your PDA. Open it by pressing tab. Some tutorials briefly take over the controls in order to demonstrate something. Announcements. Oh, your personal digital assistant offers a variety of crucial tools to aid you in your investigations. Switch between tabs by pressing R and Q. Your progress and objectives are documented here. Organized by the cases you are working on. Entries that don't relate to a specific case are listed in the general category. Press escape to go back to a previous interface or tab to close your PDA immediately. Repeat tutorial. Mm, nope, we're good. Announcements. We have ma been made aware of missing data across a large number of affected PDAs and are working on a solution to recover everything fully. Please do not submit any further reports at this time. Thank you for your patience. So, our current case is my dad is waiting for me in his bank upstairs. I know you're sick, but I have to go out for a bit, okay? I'll be back very soon. Chi Chi. Oh, 
That was cool, you can change the backdrop. Okay, this, this looks kind of cool. So the idea is we're a detective on this ship and we have, have like um, things what we need to investigate. EA tab unlocked. New evidence, my bunk. Consult your map whenever you are trying to find a place on the ship. You can open it directly by pressing M. Stella's icon marks your current location. Use WASD to switch between selected locations. Each location has a unique icon that is revealed once it has been discovered. Right now you only have access to a small part of the ship that is relevant to your current tasks. As new cases open up, so will new areas. The Zephyr is a ring spaceship, as illustrated on the left side. This means that if you move in one direction long enough, you will end up in the same place again. I knew that Dad was worried about me. He'd noticed that I'd been sleeping a lot lately, and virtually stopped socializing. I wasn't sure at the time what was wrong with me, but I found it harder and harder to get motivated. I'm liking this in a monologue thing that's going on, that's quite cool. So it gives us an insight to the character. Put W to go upstairs. I think we're going to the right place. I think this is the right... Is this it? I think it is. What is it that you want to show me? Our messages from Earth for the Arrival Day celebrations came in earlier. Already? Arrival Day is still weeks away. Yeah, they always send the meshes in advance. Be sure we have them in time. Earth has a surprise for us this year. What surprise? Tell me already. Everyone got a private message from their relatives. We got our own personal message from Mum. Stella, can you believe it? Navigator Joseph already related to me. Do you want to see it? Yes, of course. Okay, here we go. So this is... So this part is only for the family, right? Okay, hi. Oh my god, I haven't prepared anything. They only just told me I could say something to you guys in private. How are you out there? I hope things are going better than they are here on Earth. We've been having rolling blackouts again. I was so worried they'd get in the way of this recording. Anyway, I wanted to say that we recently received the video you sent last year. Wow, it's a long time, isn't it? Stella, I had never seen you in that uniform before. Wow. And William, you look like you haven't aged a day. Still the handsome young man I met 40 years ago. The long ass time. Remember that. Wonder why she didn't come with us on this uh, ship. Remember that night? We were on a ship of all places. What was it called? Something Sparrow? Or oh, I'm mixing it. Mixing it up now. I'm so proud of you both. The mission is such an incredible, enormous thing you're doing. Everyone on Earth is rooting for you. It's been so many years since you left and it still doesn't feel real. I really hope these meshes get to you. I worry about it every year. I don't know how they do it. It's all magic to me. <laughs> You'll see more of me in the public video, unless you watched that already. Happy arrival day. You say that, right? Love you both. Nah, that was it. Seems like they weren't given much time to record these. I'm just glad she had the opportunity at all. Is this going to be part of the yearly update from now on? I don't know. Maybe there's something about it in the other files. They just came in an hour ago. Don't tell anyone about it, okay? Uh, everything alright? Something your mum said has me worried. What? There's no way she forgot the name of the ship where we met. I, I have to talk to the captain. About mum? Not directly. It's complicated. Ooh, something's going down. This can't wait, sorry. I'll explain later. What the? Bye. <laughs> okay, so we've done that part of the mission. I guess if we leave the room, it'll update. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting a call. What's going on tonight? Sergeant Adel Rich. New evidence. Assistant Chief Stella. Are you with your father? He just left, wants to talk to the captain. Then maybe you can step in. Could you come talk to me at the security office? Sure, I'll be there in a minute. 
Are you all suited up? I am, why? You might have to look into something. I'll explain when you're here. It seems like you maybe need to brush up on your suit scanning ability. Trigger by pressing spacebar. Objects you can investigate are highlighted in blue for a short period of time. Collect them by walking in range and pressing E before they stop glowing. New evidence, bonsai. <laughs> Once a clue has been collected, an entry about it is created in your PDA's evidence tab. New and updated clues are marked with a special icon. Try finding more now by hitting spacebar. Portrait of Bill and Liz. Seems to be all the things in this room. Okay. That seems straightforward enough. Dad seemed to be pretty shaken up. But I didn't understand why this detail was such a big deal to him. And what did the captain know about it? Hmm, the plot thickens. So the security office. Where is the security office? It's a pretty big ship, isn't it? Ah, there it is, okay. So we need to go down two floors and then right and then up in the elevator. Oh, we can run with using shift, okay? That's handy to know. Oh, can we just keep going this way? Remember to hold shift while moving to sprint. <laughs> That's cool, look at that. I like it. Scanning. Captain's office. Mm, we won't go in the captain's office just yet. That's the bridge. Okay. I'm gonna go to level three. Or level two. Level two. That's the locker room. Okay, security office. A scanner's useful for finding rooms as well, it seems. Here we go. Pressing E nearby a person will start a conversation with them if they have something to say to you. If they don't, the speech bubble symbol above their head will be missing or greyed out. Good evening, sergeants. Assistant Chief. Hey, Stal. Paul, address her properly. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Uh, we should stick to protocol. He's right, we should stick to protocol. Sergeant Paul. Of course, my sincere apologies, Assistant Chief. Anyway. Let's talk about the reason I called you. A door in the network area triggered a security alert. We've had some false reports due to, due to defective sensors lately, so it might be nothing. However, I tried to check in with programmer Aaron, who works down there, and he isn't answering his PDA. Ooh, missing person maybe? It's possible that he is wearing noise protection, but we should make sure everything is alright. Could you take the elevator down to the inner hull and have a look? Of course. Should I ask an enforcer to come along? I don't think that's necessary. Programmer Aaron should be in the network office. Alright, I'll make sure he's okay and report back. All your dialogue uh, dialogues are recorded in your PDA. Okay, I need to know. Poms. If you ever find that your journals aren't detailed enough, you can reread any conversation right here. Okay. Let's go to the inner hull. How do you get there? I guess we just go back to the elevator. And then go down to level one, maybe? Yeah, I say level one, minus one. Seems like an inner hull type place. Make sure. Uh, so we're there. And network office. That's where we're going. We need to go this way. What the? What happened to the door? Ooh. Broken door. New evidence. 
Suspicious. Network access point. Wait, do we need to go in there? No. Network office. And that is probably like engineering or something. Okay. Programmer Aaron. Uh oh. Aaron, are you alright? Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, Jim and Lazy was swearing in this game. <laughs> Aaron, what's wrong? What happened? My head hurts so bad. It's bruised in the back. Can you move? It is. Uh, ouch. What happened? I think someone was here. Someone was here? What do you mean? I I went to the cafeteria for my evening break, but I returned a little earlier than usual. I've been working on a new data routing algorithm today, and I had an idea I didn't want to forget. When I came back, the door to the network area was broken. I wanted to check if everything was right in my office, and when I came in here, there was someone standing next to my desk. What? Who? I don't know. I think a man. He was wearing a disguise. I turned to run back out, but he jumped me. He hit my head with something. That's all I remember. Shit, give me a second. I'll get help. Dad? Something happened down here. Aaron was attacked. Attacked? How was he doing? Seems okay, but his head is bruised. I'll send a medical team. Who attacked him? I don't know. He said the person was disguised. Seems like they broke into the network area. The door at the entrance has been cracked open. I'll inform Sergeant Adelrich and join you as soon as I can. You have your weapon on you? I... yeah, I do. Good. I'll be there in a few minutes, okay? In the meantime, you should have a look around and talk to Programmer Aaron. Maybe you can find out what the intruder wanted in the network area. Okay. Watch your back. I'll be there soon. Scan... Okay, well, let's talk to Aaron. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, we're in detective mode now. What did the intruder want? How do I f what do I find in this area? What exactly do I find in this area? The various ship networks can be monitored from here. You can access them via the terminals next door, but only if you have access rights or my special tool. I see. Let me think. Uh, what did the intruder want? Do you have any idea what the intruder was doing in here? I haven't had much time to think about it yet. But since we're in the network area, I'll wager a guess and say it was something network related. Really? I could take a look around to see if I notice anything unusual. No, you should take it easy until the medical team is here. I'll investigate the rooms and let you know if I find anything. Thank you. That's all. Ooh, what's this? Network tool. The device on the floor looks out of place. Maybe programmer Aaron can tell me more about it. I should show it to him. You just found an interesting clue. Progress in your case uh, cases will often be made by showing the right evidence to the right people. Regardless of whether or not a person has something to tell you, it is imp always possible to show them a clue you collected. To do so, press F and choose what you'd like to talk about. So, F. And then, network tool. Do you know what this is? Of course, that's one of my tools. Where did you find this? Next to the door to the network access point? I definitely didn't put it there. Do you think that the tool could have been used by the intruder? I'm sure. You need to access and manipulate the data on the terminals in the network access point. So that is probably what they wanted in here. Is there a way to find out what they did exactly? Um would be good to... It would be a good start if we knew which network they manipulated. I'll grant you access to the terminals. Thank you. What can I see on those screens? Each terminal shows a visualization of data that was sent through their respective network over the past 24 hours. Coincidence that we recently received some uh, arrival day data, right? Ferret created the visual visualization a while back to make it readable for non-technical users. The left side is data being sent and the right side is data being received. If a network was manipulated, there should be some irregularity on one of the terminals. I'll have a look. Thank you. Your first case. Progress is tracked in your PDA. The solution to a case is always a piece of evidence. You can assign it from the selection here. 
Once a solution has been assigned, a submit button will appear. After hitting that button, you can no longer change the solution and the case is closed. You alone decide at which point to submit the solution. However, be careful if you aren't confident in your conclusions just yet. There is no going back. Well, that's quite interesting, okay. So once you make a decision, you can go back. Taking another look around an environment you visited earlier is often worth it if you have a suspicion that something changed in the meantime. For example, you may find objects that were altered in some way, weren't there before, or weren't considered relevant yet. When you collect a clue again after it was changed, the title, description and image of its PDA entry may be updated. PDA network terminal, recycling terminal, intranet terminal, food network terminal, medical data terminal, and this goes to the inner hell. We basically just come out of the room that we, uh, yeah, I thought so. Okay, let's go back in there then. of evidence that we collect. Cases. The intruder. Please assign an object as the solution. Portrait of villain is. I <laughs> don't think it's that. The visualization on screen shows data transferred to the... Okay, do we need to go back into there? going this way is going to do anything. There's just a broken door and then we're heading back out into the ship, so... Yeah. Definitely need to stay in this area. Be missing something obvious. Go back in here. Let's talk to Aaron again. Oh, he has nothing new to say to us. Okay. Let me show him something, like the PDA network terminal. But what exactly do I see on those terminals? A visualization of data that was sent and received on each network in the past 24 hours. The amount of sent data on the left should always be equal to the amount received on the right. If manipulation like that took place, the amount of data on the left and right won't match up anymore. How about this specific one? Do you see anything off with it? It might be. I'd have to study it closely. No, you should take it easy. I can inspect it myself. Just one more question. They all look different on the left and right. So I suppose the square represents multiple of those lines. That's correct, but I couldn't tell you how many. Ferret looks at these things daily, but it's been a while since they had a look myself. Okay, do we need to take it to Ferret, maybe? Oh, I see. That would help to look at the evidence, really, wouldn't it? Um. Okay. I mean, yeah, they all look different. Can we go and uh, speak to Ferret, maybe? I suppose the square represents multiple of those lines. So does one square equal two? No. I 
Let's show him the medical data one. Oh. Okay, the intruder. Uh, programmer Aaron confirmed that one square in the network vis visualizations is equivalent to multiple strokes, but he couldn't remember how many. I could try assuming a plausible number. Um, okay, let's take a closer look before you jump into anything. We have two, four, two, 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 two. So that square on the left equals two on the right. And this one, square, I mean, there's, there's less on the right than the left. So one square could equal four on this one, but then square, four, two, three, two, one, two square, two square, one square. They're, they're all different. <laughs> The square on the bottom one equals 2. The square on the middle row there looks like it equals 2 as well, because it's equals to 3. And then 3 on the top plus 1 equals 4. So it's 2, 3, 4. So it's 2, 2, and then 3. And this one's 2, and then 1, and then 2, and then a square, and then a square with one line. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I decided to start a dedicated journal about the case in the network area. maybe right so it doesn't look like we have to go visit anybody look at the evidence again so square 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 So what does square equal four lines, I wonder? Because that top one there, four lines on the left, one square on the right, so... And there's four lines that make up a square. Which would mean that the bottom one is two, but then that would make it five on the right. Again, on the top one there is two, and then four lines on the right. And then you go a square and a square, which is four and four. Oh wait, do I, I wonder if all the ones on the left have to add up to all the... That makes sense. Hang on. So 1, 2, uh, 4, 8, 10. And then you got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, okay. I, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, the, it's the PDA network. It's the PDA network. My gosh, I think we've got it. PDA network. PDA network. I choose this. Submit. Yes. Case submitted. The intruder. Stella, everything all right? Programmer Aaron, how do you feel? I feel all right, Chief, but I'll get myself checked out to be sure. I found out what the intruder was up to. 
he manipulated one of the ship's networks. Good job. I think I even know which one. Could you have a look, Programmer Aaron? Of course, let me see. Yes, you're right. Looks like some malware was injected into PDA network. Yes, we got it right. You agree? Good. I mean, not good. <laughs> Excellent work, Stella. Listen, I actually came out here to tell you something else. I've been thinking about what the intruder's plan was exactly. These terminals in the access point only contain very recent information flowing from each network to our central servers. If the guy was after recent data, he could have accessed it right there using my tool, but he may have injected malware instead. The terminals are connected to the big servers down the hall for regular backups. Maybe his plan was to exploit this connection. For what purpose? I can only assume to override access rights so he can extract historical data from there. Would he have to physically go there to do that? Correct. Stella, follow me, now. But we're not going to follow him, because we're going to end the video there, because uh, if you do want to play this game, I'm not going to play the entire thing and spoil it for you, so uh, thanks for watching everybody. Let me know what you thought of the game down in the comments, and leave a like if you did enjoy the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, would be very much appreciated. And until next time, have a good one. Bye for now.